Hey, 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 what the heck? Sorry, guys. Yes, by the end of this video, you will definitely understand the whole formation of a mid latitude cycle. What do I mean by that? I mean, as the class of 2025, we know that we have different studying techniques, right? We have different studying techniques. Some better understand with sketches. Hence, in this video, we'll be doing a lot of sketches. The stages of a mid latitude cycle using sketches for us to better understand yes guys for theory and everything like that make sure that you watch the video of mid latitude that i dropped before this one but before you leave us if you will be like this video subscribe to my channel why because of a hey, with sketches we never go wrong yes guys what is a mid latitude cyclone a mid latitude cyclone we said it is a low pressure weather condition which okay between 30 degrees to 60 degrees and it moves eastward yes guys and there's no better way to start a mid latitude cyclone without speaking about the initial stage so the initial stage is where the mid latitude cyclone actually begins so we said a mid latitude cyclone occurs between 30 degrees to what we call 60 degrees Yes, guys, these are the most important degrees, actually. I know some may say, hey, 90 degrees is involved. Relax, we are coming there. Yes, guys, 30 degrees to 60 degrees. What is this pressure belt called in the 30 degrees belt? This is called our subtropical high pressure belt. This is our subtropical high pressure belt. And here, this is called our subpolar low pressure belt so now we have our subtrop subpolar and our subtropical high pressure belt and what do we know about a high pressure and a low pressure we know that air actually flows from a high pressure area to a low pressure area that's what we know we know that air flows from a high pressure area to a low pressure area but if you do not know that make sure that you watch the video i dropped before this one because it also speaks about the wind which we are going to be talking about here right now so there's obviously winds that are happening here that are flowing here between 30 to 60 degrees what are those winds called yes guys before we know those winds we have to know our earth starration which is never eat sour worms and now when we know never eat sour worms the winds that are happening here are coming from the west so this is how they are they are moving they are coming from the west moving towards the east yes guys so what winds do we call these ones we call them our westerlies yes guys so between 30 to 60 degrees we find our westerlies westerlies and as you can tell our westerlies are moving from a high pressure to a low pressure hence they are moving from higher to lower so they are moving towards the 60 degrees latitude yes guys this is the initial stage you are not yet done this is where the 90 degrees comes guys this is our definitely 90 degrees which is our polar high pressure belt this is high pressure this is high pressure and we know high pressure and low pressure what occurs air moves from high pressure to low pressure meaning between 60 to 90 degrees the wind which is found there it is moving like this because of it's moving from higher to lower so this is how it is moving yes guys and what do we call these winds these winds are given the name guys because of we've already done our direction so we can definitely understand what winds are these called so if they are moving like this what are they called they are called easterlies because of they are coming from the east these are your easterlies and those are your westerlies yes guys but then because of in a geographical form or in a mid latitude cyclone form we just say the easterlies are the cold because of they are coming from the high pressure belt the cold polar the antarctica here there's ice obvious so they are cold 
this is cold air coming towards the 60 degree and there's obviously this warm air also coming towards the 60 degrees so this is the initial stage whereby there's no disturbance between the two airs right uh, it's going on their natural position yes guys now let's move to our second stage which is called the wave formation stage a lot of people say i didn't explain the wave formation stage very much explainable uh, in the video before this one so let's say this is your 60 degrees guys this is your 60 degrees in the wave formation stage the 60 degrees now becomes very much important and this 60 degrees it is given a name yes guys it is called our polar front this is our polar front yes guys this latitude line is called the polar front it is very much important when in the formation of a mid-latitude cyclone yes guys so we remember that there's obviously what cold air that is coming here and there's what warm air that is coming like this but not like that but then like this but what do we know most importantly another important thing i said in the definition it occurs during winter so it is winter right this is your 30 degrees it is winter here and this is high pressure when it is winter that means high pressure has a lot of power right it is winter so when it is winter the warm air which we specified as the warm air this this western is we specified as the warm air it will obviously be forced to now be moving downwards to the 60 degrees it is now closer to the polar front so when it is now closer to the polar front the warm air suppressed by the cold air because of it is winter right so what will happen this cold air will also gain power to do what to uplift the 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 warm air which is found here so this air will do what will uplift will uplift the warm air that is here and when it uplifts the warm air that is found here what will happen the warm air will be forced to rise so if it's being uplifted this cold air continues to move further north and starts to uplift the warm air between the what the polar front remember this is our polar front now the warm air has been uplifted right as the warm air has been uplifted this is now called our low pressure area why because of we know that a low pressure area simply means rising of air when there's a rising air there's low pressure area and it is winter i've been saying this there's cold air on top of the interior what will happen is that this cold air will definitely descend towards the space here it will try to fill up the gap which was created by this rising air right so now this is definitely the gap being try being closed the, the cold air is trying to close the gap and this warm air continues to rise and obviously when now there's low pressure moving to high pressure you must know there's about to be disaster occurring we obviously know that air moves from high pressure to low pressure but then if it's now happening versa versa low pressure to high pressure uh there must be a lot of things that are going to okay you can't change the nature you can't change the nature of air movement so when it is changed you can see now what is happening this cold air is trying to fill up the gap where this warm air was obviously rising and this is a wave formation stage and remember it is rotating what clockwise guys it is rotating clockwise it is rotating clockwise it is not mixing it is rotating clockwise as we know that in the southern hemisphere we rotate clockwise yes guys this is the sketch of our wave formation stage very much nice let's move to our mature stage we definitely love that space uh, what the heck we definitely don't have space let me why yes guys i'm definitely sorry i saw that i was showing the chest ladies uh, no, and actually i'm you you hey i'm not calling you ladies kids you are kids guys okay let's continue we said the mature stage right the mature yes guys you should already be clicking the like button and also the subscribe button 
Why? Because of with close up education, we are getting this distinction no matter how. Yes, this is our mature stage, right? Uh, our mature stage, uh, it says, obviously, we start on our 60 degrees. Hey, it seems like this 60 degrees is becoming very much important. Why is it becoming very much important? Because of the wind, right? The cold air and the warm air used the polar front we call it the polar front remember to create its own front so a warm front was created right and also a cold front was created so this front was responsible in creating a warm front and a cold front yes guys and obviously they have to be separated because of they are different air condition they cannot mix guys so we definitely know that this is a, a warm front right this is our warm front very much simple this is our cold front also very much simple okay guys so these are very, very much nicer marks and we know that our very much cyclone it is moving eastwards right if it is moving eastwards what's happening guys if it is moving eastwards that definitely means that here it was it the warm air has obviously moved has obviously what it was here so it is moving eastwards and also rotating definitely it is rotating guys it is not just moving straight it is rotating clockwise we know that it is rotating clockwise and what if this warm front obviously was rotating and it was obviously here that definitely means that this will be a warm sector why is it warm sector because of a warm front has obviously passed by here so warm air was left so it leaves some warm air obviously after passing by yes and this cold front as it moves towards this warm sector what will happen this warm air which was left by this warm front will be forced to rise why is it rising because of cold air it is obviously heavy and strong and fast it can be able to uplift the light warm air which is found in the warm sector so when cold air uplifts the warm air which is found in the warm sector what will happen community bus clouds will happen because of it can uplift as much as it can it is very much strong it can uplift a lot of warm air so we know that in the mature stage the community bus clouds there's precipitation in the in the warm front in the warm front yes guys where the warm front it is obviously approaching as we said it is rotating that means there was a cold front so where the warm front is approaching as in where the cold front was approaching there will be a cold sector here so there's cold sector wherever they are approaching they are approaching different air conditions it is obvious because of they are rotating yes guys and warm front we know warm air it is very much light it cannot uplift as much as cold air which is left by the cold front as possible it will uplift just a minimum then there will be those small precipitation from the nimbo stratas or the stratus clouds and yes guys this is how it actually looks like what did we left out i don't think there's anything left out guys this is our mature stage when you are drawing it on a cross section but then obviously if you are looking at it on a synoptic weather map we know that here there will be those nice things here but then here there's there are those spikes those spikes for cold front but then here there i don't know what shape this is uh, it's a, whatever shape you may call it half a second or whatever yes guys so this is the mature stage i definitely know that after doing the stages you are passing on the highest then what do we have to move I i'm sorry i'm repeating the very same thing done on that video i'm not going to be doing the occlusion and anticipating stage these stages are very much simple no guys no i cannot be doing that this is the 60 degrees right and this is the occlusion stage what does the occlusion stage it means the cold air has now caught up with the warm air it was fast enough to catch up with the warm air so if it catches up this is what will happen a y shape will be created right this is called uplifting the warm 
Why? Because of it has caught up. So this is cold, warm, cold, warm. This is our warm, obviously. This is our cold, obviously. So this is what happened. It catches up, right? It catches up with the warm front. The cold air catches up with the warm front. These are your definitely marks. And the dissipating stage, definitely done. This is how it definitely looks like. Also on the 60 degree mark, the, 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 we are still using the polar front. Yes, guys. But then now we are different. This is warm and this is cold and this is warm and this is cold, 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 cold and warm, warm. Yes, guys. This is the dissipating stage. The whole front has been mixed up. It's a mix. Now there's no precipitation. There's, 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 there's nothing like that. Precipitation is going away. Right? It is. But then here there's still just not too much of precipitation. But then there's, there's just small. In the mature stage, this is where we find your hair precipitation. Your floods and stuff like that. Yes, guys, this video was only about stages and also about sketches. If you do not understand what I've been doing here, okay, make sure that you go and buy our ebook because of our ebook is there. Because maybe you might be a learner that understands more when it comes to reading, right? Or when it comes to taking notes. So we do have an ebook. So go to our store. You can find it here on YouTube. Go to our store, buy our ebook only for 60 bucks. Guys, it is a 16 page. It only explains mid latitude cyclone. It is an ebook. It is not a two choir like your textbook from school. Eh, eh, it only explains mid latitude cyclone. Yes, guys. So make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Why? Because of, hey, I love you. Yes.